Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video I will do a gaming and graphics comparison between the latest iPad Air which is the fifth generation iPad versus the iPad 4 which was the fourth generation iPad. Now just to give you a quick summary the iPad Air has a dual core 64-bit A7 processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz with 1 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. The iPad 4 has a dual core 32-bit A6X processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz as well with 1 gigabytes of DDR RAM. And since we are going to do a graphics and gaming comparison, you should know that the iPad Air has IMG's PowerVR G6430 graphics and the iPad 4 has PowerVR SGX543 graphics. The benchmarking tool we will be using to measure the graphics and gaming performance is called GFX Bench Benchmarking Tool which will push these devices to their absolute limit. We will use the latest version which as of this video is 2.7.0. Alright, so I'll be running six high-level tests on each of these iPads, but I'll only show you two of these tests because it will be quite lengthy to show you all six. Basically, all tests are variants of two main tests, which is the T-Rex HD, where a girl on a bike is being chased by a huge T-Rex, and the other one is Egypt HD, where an Egyptian warrior is fighting with various enemies. So let's uh, dive right in. So let's make sure that nothing is running in the background, so let's double tap to bring up the multitasking pane. Nothing over there, and nothing over there. We have a clean slate. So let's launch GFX Bench Benchmarking Tool and go to Performance Tests. And again, as you can see, I have six of the tests that are highlighted that we are going to run for our final results. However, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the uh, five of them and show you the T-Rex on the iPads and then I'm going to show you the Egypt test. So disable, disable, disable and let's go ahead and start this test. Okay, together. Boom. And go ahead and watch this test and then as soon as it is done we are going to go and run the Egyptian warrior test. And I just want to take, um, I just want to point out that you can see the stutter on the iPad 4 but the iPad Air is running this pretty smoothly. So immediately we do see a performance increase on the iPad Air. Okay, so T-Rex test has completed, so let's go ahead and run the Egyptian test. And once again, I'm going to be back with the results right after this test. So let's go ahead and start this at the same exact time. And with this test, I just want to let you know that there are the, the frame rates on either one of these devices are pretty good. So there's no stutter either on the iPad Air or the iPad 4. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to uh, compare the end results right after this video, this, uh, this, um, this scene.
Okay, so finally we have all the six tests that were run and we have the results in. So let's uh, zoom in on these numbers and analyze the results and see how the iPad Air fares against the iPad 4. Okay, so the iPad Air is on the left and the iPad uh, 4 is on the right. So basically if we do look from top to bottom, the first test we are looking at 26 on the Air and 17 on the 4. The second test is 21 on the Air and 13 on the 4. And then basically if you go down, you'll see 25, 17, 20, 12. And then the final two tests are at 63 on the air, and the uh, on the four is 55, and then the the final ver the very last test is 49 on the air and 40 on the uh, iPad 4. So basically, what this is telling you is on every category the iPad is uh, basically outperforming the iPad 4 with some very good numbers. Okay, so the the, the numbers for the T-Rex test are nearly doubled. And with the Egyptian test, you have like 20-30% increase. So basically, that is the end of this video. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also, you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.